Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2023 Jayco Terrain 19Y. Here are the specifications. Now this RV has a lot to offer. Most notably it has an onboard air compressor with front and rear chucks, a 48 volt 210 amp hour smart lithium battery providing 10 kilowatts hours of power, a 3500 watt inverter, second 48 volt alternator dedicated to lithium battery, and 200 watts of roof mounted solar panels. Here is an overview of the layout. It has a fresh water capacity of 22 gallons, a gray water capacity of 20 gallons, and the tire sizes are LT245 70R17. So let's get started. So this has the 17 inch BF Goodrich all terrain KO2 tires, perfect for off roading. Camera right here in the side mirror. Long running board below the passenger door and the sliding door, and they are lit with LED lights. Opening window right here in the sliding door. Up on top, there's a big awning with an LED light strip and has wind sensors. A couple of outdoor speakers are right up there. Two 110 outlets back here. Let's check out the rear. Backup camera above. Now the ladder to access the rooftop is located back here and up on the roof there's a roof rack and two solar panels. Down below there are some parking sensors, 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin connection, sewer hose storage right there, and right beside it is the connection to the air compressor. Now take a look at the clearance. There's a spare tire under there. All right, let's open up these rear doors. Okay, take a look. So right here on the passenger side is the water intake with the outdoor shower. There's also two 110 outlets right below. There's a roll down bug screen along with a blackout shade. And each of these doors has a pocket for storage. Let's move on to the driver's side. So there's an opening window back here. Right here's the 30 amp plug-in a solar input, an exterior city water connection, cassette toilet, and right above is an LED light with three stages. Down below is the gray water connection, another opening window right here opening up the driver's door. There's the diesel input. Side step for the driver. And right here on the side mirror is another camera. Let's check out the front. So on top, there's a, an LED light bar. Right here, there's a camera in the front and some front parking sensors. There's also some LED headlights. All right, let's check out the interior of this RV. So there's a nice roll down bug screen right here for the sliding door area. Big exterior work surface table, some low point drains, and two 110 outlets. Grab handle on the side here. 
And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. Now, I don't necessarily have to duck, but those that are taller will most likely have to. So let's check out the seats. They are power heated seats. There's power folding mirrors. The steering wheel has these controls right here at your fingertips. Up on the dash, there's some storage. So in front of the driver, there's that one. Right in the center, there's a wireless charging pad in there, some USB ports along with a 12 volt. One in front of the passenger. There's also two cup holders up here on the dash. Now in front of the passenger, below that storage on the dash, there's also a ledge for additional storage. Moving to the center, there's this large touchscreen infotainment center. And down here, there are some additional cup holders. Below those cup holders, there's a 12 volt and a USB. Now above the driver and passenger, there are these ledges where you can use it for additional storage. And there's this sunglasses case right there. All right, time to check out the rest of this RV. So right above the cockpit area is this headliner shelf. Good for some storage. This one even has a little bar. Maybe you can hang a curtain. Behind the passenger seat is the fire extinguisher. And right across upon entry of the sliding door is the main power switch along with the switch for the awning. The sliding door has this large window. It does open up and it has this blackout shade which you snap into place. All right, so let's check out this passenger seating. There are two separate seats. They're not very wide, but they are comfortable. They are adjustable. You can move them forward and back, and you can tilt them with this lever here on the side. So right above, there's this cabinet with some storage in there. There's the Euroloft controller for the bed, the solar charge controller right here, battery switch, and your battery monitor controller. There's even a stereo in there. And this cabinet latches nice and securely. Underneath, there's a light strip along with a ram track. Right here, there's a power window with a screen right there. And you open the window by using this switch right here on the side. There's a pull down shade for privacy along with a bug screen that you pull up and down. Now, down below, there's a little storage on the side there with some netting. There's a mount for a table, two USB ports, and two 110 outlets. Now, right behind these passenger seats is the main controller, the hot water and in-cabin heating controller, and the inverter switch. Directly above me is the power air vent, and there's a speaker right here. Now let's check out the kitchen. So the refrigerator is located right off of the sliding door entry. Let's open that up. So there's three levels of storage in there with a little freezer on top, and it is actually pretty deep. The door has three levels of storage, and the bins are not adjustable. Okay, so this is your countertop space. However, there is this slide out extension giving you much more surface room and you can easily pull it out and retract it very nice and smoothly. So there's a sink here on the side. It does not have a cover, tall angled faucet. Let's check out the cabinet above. Some storage up there. Right underneath the cabinet, there are two 110 outlets, a light bar, 
a ram track, and there's some switches. One is for the macerator and the other one is for the light. So let's check out the drawers below. This top one is small. The one below is storing the induction, the one burner induction cooktop, which you just pull out and you can set right here on the countertop and plug it in, or you can take it outside and put it on that table that is outside. Another drawer below. And a pretty deep one right on the bottom. Moving to the side of all that, here is the pantry. It's pretty tall, has a nice shelf in there. Below the pantry, there's this extension that you pull all the way out and then you flip over and that gives you a little more surface room. Now below there's some more storage and there's a shelf in there. Now let's check out the bathroom. It's located right across from the kitchen. So I'm going to open up these doors. It's got two doors. One is big and one is smaller. And check it out. So right now it's got two bamboo shelves in there. So this bathroom also doubles as a storage closet. So I'm going to take these bamboo shelves out and set them aside so we can get a good look at the bathroom. Now I'm finding them a little bit heavy. It's really not all that bad. I just wish they were a little lighter. All right, so this is what it looks like without the bamboo shelves in it. All right, so I'm gonna step in and check out the space. Now it's a little on the small side, but it doesn't feel too bad. The toilet is pushed over to the side, giving you some more room. Got good arm room this way, not as much this way. So let's see, up on top here, there's a power air vent. There's a light retractable clothesline right here. Let's check out the shower head. This is a big shower head, I love it. On off switch for the water. That's a pretty good sized toilet and it is a cassette toilet. Little storage for your bath products and a covered toilet paper holder below. It has this fabric shower curtain that you just pull right across. Now there is no sink in there. All right, let's check out the rear of this coach. So this is the garage area. Check out all the room that's back here. I love the textured floor. Now this space is great for hauling your toys or your gear. There's two ram tracks back here along with some O-rings to help you tie them down. On the driver's side over here, there's a window that does open up and it has a pull down privacy shade along with a bug screen. There's two lights that you can easily push on and off. On the side here there are two 110 outlets and there's another couple of 110 outlets right below. There's even this little ledge here for some storage. You can stick some tools in there, perfect. Moving over to the passenger side, there's a controller for some lights and your awning. And above me here, there's these little pouches that you can store some additional items in. All right, let's lower the bed that's above. So I'm gonna head over to that cabinet that's in the front and open that up. And that's where the Euroloft controller is. I've got the key inserted. And now I'm gonna push down the down arrow and the bed is going down nice and smoothly and it's pretty quiet. So it's in its lowest position.
All right, so let's try it out. Pretty comfortable. Now this has a weight capacity of 750 pounds. So you can store some items up here if you needed to. Lots of room for one person. Of course, it can also sleep two. There's bump outs on each end. So if you're a tall person, it gives you extra sleeping room. Above me is the AC unit and it is low profile. So it doesn't really take up much of that headspace. All right, so I'm gonna put it back up. Again, going up to that cabinet and pushing on the up arrow. Pretty easy making the bed. So that wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Jayco Terrain 19Y. Now I can tell that a lot of thought has gone into the design of this RV. For example, this large countertop extension along with the extension that they included right under the pantry. However, they did not include a microwave in here. Love the Euroloft bed system, easy to raise and lower. You can leave your bedding up there, no need to find an extra space to store it. However, there is no TV back there. Love that the bathroom doubles as a storage closet. Now coming up to the passenger seats, it does get a little tight here. Now these passenger seats are nice and soft. However, they are a bit on the narrow side. So whoever sits here needs to be prepared to be nice and cozy with their neighbor. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.